Hey guys, Terabyte here. I was hoping to research some stuff regarding Velocity for a plugin I was working on and noticed there was a rather large lack of videos out there for Velocity, Folia, or paper-specific plugins. Spigot, yeah, there's plenty, but Velocity, not really. So I figured, why not create a series talking about Velocity and how to develop for it? You should already know the basics of Spigot development before jumping in. If you haven't learned yet, I suggest going to YouTube and searching for Cody Simpson's Spigot tutorials. There's a ton of videos there, ranging from basic setup to understanding NMS, which is quite complex. I highly recommend them, they're great, I've used them before in the past, so go check those out if you need to learn more. So before we get started, what is Velocity? Well, we all know Minecraft has multiplayer and has for a long time. It was actually added in May of 2009, so if you're 14 or younger, you're actually younger than Minecraft multiplayer, which makes me feel really old. But anyway, when you type in an IP or domain into Minecraft and request a connection to a server, that server then authorizes you against Mojang's authorization servers and connects you. Simple enough. But what if you have multiple servers and you want players to be able to jump back and forth in them? Let's say you have a minigame server, a survival server, and a skyblock server. Sure, you could have all of those plugins on one server, but that's not great. Instead, you could split up the servers, reducing overall resource need and effort of configuration, and just teleport players between them. That's pretty much how a Minecraft proxy works. When you connect to a server, you're actually connecting to the proxy which acts as a middleman. It authorizes you against Mojang's authorization servers like normal, but then passes you along to a backend server. When you want to switch servers, the proxy tells Minecraft you're actually switching worlds instead, and then redirects your connection to another server, allowing you to connect there. Now, there are a couple flavors of proxy. The big ones are Bungie Cord, Waterfall, and Velocity. Bungie Cord, or Bungie, was written by the Spigot MC team, who also wrote Spigot, which is a fork of Craft Bucket, which is Minecraft with a bucket API built in, and yeah, well, you get the idea. Uh, basically, Bungie Cord was the first popularized proxy. Then you have Waterfall, which is a fork of Bungie Cord made by the Paper MC team, who is behind the Paper software, a fork of Spigot with some amazing improvements. Now, there is a cap. Bungie Cord plugins work really similar to Spigot plugins because they were written by the same team, so they're relatively easy to write. Waterfall is just a fork, so Bungie plugins also work there. But Velocity, that's a new one. Velocity is also by the Paper MC team, but was written from the ground up. The very first Git commit on the project was back in 2018, and it's been going ever since. Velocity isn't Bungie or Waterfall, so it cannot use plugins written for those platforms. In fact, the plugins are written quite differently than you'd see in Bungie, Spigot, or even Paper. However, Velocity is known for being extremely fast and less resource intensive. It also has some nice security features for forwarding player information from the proxy if you use Paper. Velocity is also written using native libraries for Linux on the x86-64 and Arch64 platforms. They proactively close DOS attacks and more features that you probably won't really care about but are extremely important in terms of reliability. So. Now that you know what Velocity is and what you're getting into, let's go to the first video and get your first Velocity project set up. 